In this video, we're going to compute this expression here for this function here, f of x. This guy here is called the difference quotient. It's used a lot in calculus. Before we do this, it might be a good idea to think about what f of x plus h is. So f of x is simply this, x squared plus 4x minus 7. So f of x plus h, it's the same thing, except it's x plus h squared. Right, you just replace the x with x plus h, and then plus 4 times x plus h, and then minus 7. All right, let's go ahead and work this out. So solution. We'll start by writing down our difference quotient. So f of x plus h minus f of x, and it's all being divided by little h. This is equal to, now f of x plus h, we already worked it out, it's over here. So it's gonna be x plus h squared, and then plus four times x plus h, and then minus seven, right? It's right there. Then we still have the minus sign, so minus. And then f of x, well, that's over here. So this will be parentheses, really important to have the parentheses, x squared plus 4x minus 7 parentheses. And all of this is being divided by little h. So this is equal to, now in order to multiply out this first piece here, there's a shortcut. So you just square the x, so x squared. You multiply the x and the h and you double them, so 2xh. And then you square the h, so plus h squared. Then distributing, 4 times x is 4x. And then 4 times h is simply 4h. And we still have the minus 7. Very easy to mess up here. And then we have to distribute this minus sign. So minus x squared minus 4x. Minus x squared minus 4x. And then negative and negative is positive, so we get a positive 7. And it's all being divided by h. Now, in the next step, anything that doesn't have an h is going to cancel. So let's see if that's actually true. It, it should be. If it's not, that means we messed up. So here we have x squared. Does it go away? Yes, it does. 2xh, that hangs out. h squared, that has an h, so we don't have to worry about it. 4x, that should go away. Yes, it does. It's a good sign. 4h. We'll leave that alone. It has an h. And negative 7 doesn't have an h, and it goes away. Success. So all of this is being divided by a little h. In the next step, we factor out the h. So we end up with 2x plus h plus 4. It's all being divided by h. And the very last step is to cancel these h's, and you end up with 2x plus h, plus 4. And that is the final answer. So that's how you compute a difference quotient. I hope this helps.